This time. This time some spinning. This time on Crash Tag Team Racing. Uh, so what's podcast team racing going to be about this time? Ross has to watch an episode of Dragon Ball Super with me tonight because I'm invested. Okay, I, I don't feel like I want to agree to that, but... uh, I'm going to watch it, I forgot it had come on today. Alright, okay. We'll watch it later. Alright. It's only 20 minutes. Yeah, I can live with that. Sucker! <laughs> oh, that's what we need to play. What? We need to play WWE. Because you said we have... Oh no, I didn't get it, I just saw it. And I was tempted by it. WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2007. What, do you not have it? No. I thought, you, I thought that was the point. No, I, I said it. I was tempted to get it. But I didn't get it. It's fine, I might have it at home. We can play that if you want. Because character creators are fun. Yeah. <laughs> And being an asshole to certain people in the story mode is fun as well. Yes. That was a fine landing, you fuck off. Just doing everything in my power to fuck over Triple H at all times. <laughs> I remember struggling with this when we last played it. Yeah, because the landing is kind of weird. Like, obviously, I fucked that one up, but yeah. Well, because you're going for these weird sideways rotations. Yeah, because they give you mad points. But you're not succeeding on them. <laughs> you're not wrong. I'll give you that. I feel like just just get the backflip points and see how much you get. Right, so 1,580 for that. No, I feel like you're just making things difficult on yourself here. That was awful. You got almost just as much for backflip. You got almost just as much for just travelling through the air. Yeah, I think safety over... You say that, but then you land fine and then it doesn't give you anything. Well, that's because you were speeding off. <laughs> well. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> okay. Um. God, now my mind's gone blank yeah, on what I've, we're talking about. I've dropped that off. I don't know there's WWE, but... I was contemplating other things as well, but it's just gone. It's just gone. And so again, take your out of it straight away. I mean, I think this we're about being a dick to people, so, uh... I mean, that comes naturally, though. It's... Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's, uh... There's a few of them classic games that I've yeah. played. Try being me knowing most of the people I know in my life who've barely played any of them. Uh, there's some games that some of my mates haven't played that I'm just sat there like, how though? <laughs> I'm trying to think of like what I've been meaning to play for ages that I haven't. Well, you go, for instance, Joey. Again, sorry, put you on blast. Like, <laughs> massive Nintendo fan. He's completed all the Mario games, completed all the Pokemon games, played a ton of them. He's only played a Legend of Zelda game once. Right. Wind Waker. Okay. I mean, it's not a bad one. And he's never touched a Metroid. Okay, that's not on. I plan on fixing it, don't worry. I'm going to make him play through Super Metroid. And we were contemplating playing Metroid Prime ourselves for the channel. Um... Which we might have to just invite him around when we plan playing it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Absolutely Maybe, maybe to take a game each. In which case, I would want three. What a landing. Which I'm the only person who ever wants three. <laughs> That's another one. Like, Completionist just did an episode recently on Metroid Prime 3, and it was hard for me to watch. I respect that he has his own opinion on the game, but it feels like he was nitpicking. Yeah. And I, I love Corruption. I love Metroid Prime 3. I think it is a phenomenal game. And I want Rundus back. <laughs> this is the best Metroid character. Because you name me another influential character in Metroid that isn't, like, a, a boss. Yeah, We're sure. talking about more Ridley. Metroid representation for... Smash. Give us one of them characters. Give us one of the bounty hunters. One of the other bounty hunters. And, in my opinion, I think Rundus is the most memorable. Because he was, like... He was almost like a, the Garrus of the game. Yeah. Oh, 
All How right, would you then. feel about playing Mass Effect? I'd be okay with it, but I mean... The first one kind of left me a bit sour because of the, uh, you know, randomly halfway through it's like, you can't travel backwards now. You can't revisit that area because we said so. I hate that. Wait, what's that? In Mass Effect 1. Yeah. There's an... One of the planets you go to, it just cuts you off from going back to a certain place after you hit a certain point in the story. I won't spoil anything because it's quite late. I think that's just at the end anyway, and they warn you about that. No, they don't. There's yeah. one specific planet that cuts you off from going down a specific bridge. And it's like, well, if you left a, if you left a quest there, fuck you. On which planet? I don't remember the name of it. Was it the Plant World one? It could have been. I don't know. Because I don't know if it's a quest that matters, because I think I know what you're talking about, and I don't think it's an actual proper quest. I think it's just, like, some optional dialogue. No, there's definitely a quest I left behind. Because I think you're thinking of Nor... No. It's the weird mind control you one. Yeah, that's the plant world. Yeah, I know what bridge you're talking about. Yeah. You left. You leave, like, a bunch of... I know it's... it's but it's Mass Effect people. I'll, I'll it censor it, it's fine. Uh, no, you don't have to. It's Mass Effect people have played it at this point. Have they're, they? they're either going to play it or not. Yeah, I mean, I got to it very recently. I'll say that. Have you have you not completed Mass Effect? Not the first, I never went back to it after that because it, it annoyed me so Did much. Did you complete 2 and 3? Yeah. Of course you complete 2. You start playing 2, you can't put it down. Yeah. Mass Effect 2 is like... Oh, oh what a good game. But yeah, I'd, I'd be well up for playing some Mass Effect. Fuck. I love the first three games. Yeah. Andromeda can, you know... Andromeda you can, can suck a dick. As can EA. Yeah. You know, I don't know who we was saying to, but... Like, who lets EA make sci-fi games anymore? After everything. After they've messed up Mass Effect on Star Wars. Yeah. Never again. Don't let them make sci-fi games. Unless it's Titanfall. It's yeah, they, the only one. they got that one really weirdly right. It's because they had very little to do with it. Yeah. It was all Respawn Entertainment. The good lads, them lads at respawn. Keep doing what you're doing. You made the most anime western game you possibly could have, <laughs> in the form of Mech Fighter. Yeah. Which I it's love. just one of those things. It's like there's certain themes that I just like. Zero points for that one, by the way. I know, because you know, Crash. Well, there's a few games that I'd like, I'd like to play on the channel and that. I can think of now because it's like there's been so much of my opinion changed over the years with games yeah games that I used to think were great changed and stuff like that so I'm not as fussed anymore about playing all the old retro games yeah because a lot of them in my opinion it's just, just I can't play a lot of them anymore there are some that will always be good yeah Donkey Kong Country Metroid They'll, those will always be amazing games but there's just there are certain ones that I'm like whatever I'm, yeah All right, game. I let go of the controller, but all right. It was like when we went to arcade recently, and uh, like I went, I went nuts for Third Strike, obviously. But yeah. like when uh, Zach wanted me to play with the uh, uh, Mortal Kombat, first Mortal Kombat, I was yeah. just like, "Yeah, this is this is Mortal Kombat." Mortal Kombat, the original Mortal Kombat. I don't know why people like them. Well, at I, the time, I can't say I've ever liked the it original. Was, it's one of them things where it's an at the time. Yeah, sure. At the time, there was nothing else like it. And yeah. it was so unique on the market. And it was cool. It, it, it was, was one of the games the that it was cool to like Mortal Kombat. Because everyone liked Mortal Kombat. Yeah. But for a long time... It wasn't time, cool to like Street Fighter 2. Because not like it, that was seen as the more nerdy one. Wasn't yeah, it? I guess. Whereas like most of the Western world, because it was a Western made game and it like the addition of the fatalities and the gore. And the character, like the, the simplified characters... Like you, you, you didn't read into it too much back then with them because like Street Fighter has always wanted you to read into it. It's like Ryu is like you know, a warrior traveling the world like searching to become a stronger fighter because he also wants to avenge like the death of his master at the hands yeah. of Kuma and all that. It's like that exists within Mortal Kombat, but it's not. It wasn't ever really fed yeah. It's to never you. pushed to the forefront, is it? Yeah, it was never really fed to you. Until sort of as such, um, you know, people were just like sick scorpion. Scorpion's cool. Scorpion's the best. Yeah. And it's like back then the the plot wasn't anything. It was just like demon warrior from hell. Yeah. 
and people were there. Yeah, at the time it was just sort of, here's a tournament, don't die. Yeah. And it was fine. And people preferred simplified stuff back then. Especially in, like, fighting games, because... Yeah. I don't know anyone else that cares about the story in fighting games. I don't care about the story in fighting games, I'll say that. I didn't until... Persona 4's got me, because it's a Persona 4 game. Effectively. And it's actually a really good actually, story. No, no, I disagree, actually. I do, I do kind of care for the story in a fighting game. Because you say that, and like that it could be just throwaway and everything like that, but look... If, and here we go, I'm bringing it back up again. Look at how terrible... Mal vs. Capcom Infinite story was. Yeah. It's a mess. It's a trash fire. But then, like, look at Mortal Kombat 9 and Mortal Kombat 10. Yeah. Those have a really solid story. So like, I'm Injustice. actually interested. Injustice was too. Yeah, Injustice. Like, Injustice 2 has one of the, like... Yeah. Arguably one of the best, like, looking story modes on top of anything else. Like, yeah, the definitely. facial animations... In it still has that weird sort of, oh, suddenly it's 60 FPS, we're going to fight now. Yeah, that's that true. That I hate. But, you know, I'll let that slide for it's actually an enjoyable story. And again, I, I just got, I, every time I talk about Injustice 2, all I can go on about is, like, dem facial animations, though. Dude, have you seen the trailer for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? No. Dude, they look so good. They look exactly like the original movie version. What, like it's the people in the suits crazy. version? Yeah. That's great. It's crazy good. And all the costume options you can get from that make them look like... There's ones that make them look like the... Uh, do you remember the Nickelodeon 2000... The 2003 one? Yeah. There was the one that I watched the most of, like, th there's ones that make them look like that. Oh, losing it. They look so like, much fun. I feel like that wasn't, wasn't remembered as fondly. No, it was. What, the 2003 the, series? The, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle things you always hear held in high regard is the original movies. Yeah. In the costumes. The original animated series. Yeah. And then the 2003 animated series. See, I've heard the new cartoon was good. No. I don't know if you heard that <laughs> off, but the new ones aren't very good. Because okay. unfortunately, the new ones keep getting rebooted over and over again. They've gone through, like... Since the 2003 version, which ended in about, like, 2007, it, it had a real long run. Probably one of the longest on Cartoon Network in the yeah. Um... Like, after that, I think since then, there's been about five or six reboots of it. Just constantly, like, rehashing it and changing it. Because they're never secu they're, they're never comfortable with what they're doing. I didn't hit the 3D one from a couple of years back. Yeah, by the new one, I mean more recent than that. Well, they did one that was, like... The, the, the first one that had, like, the 3D animation to it was good. Yeah, this was a 2D one I'm talking about. A new 2D one? Yeah. But the one that's literally just come out? Yeah. Uh, I don't think anyone could... It could, could have really... been, like, just come out. I don't know. I, I don't, don't think, think anyone could really pass judgment on that because it has literally just come out. No, this was, like, years ago. I was in uni at the time. It was, like, Nickelodeon or something. It was the one right I'll after... Tell you what, I'll put a picture of it on screen just so everyone knows which one I'm on about because I can't fucking explain it and I'll show you at the end of the video. Okay, yeah, and we can talk about it during the next video because this one's nearly done. Because like, this is another one of those things that I know in passing. Yeah. Because I have nieces who watch TV. But no, like, the... Uh... Well, the thing is, you can tell the era of uh, the 2003 Turtles and, like, Cartoons had a bit more, like, respect for themselves. Yeah. Um, because around the time, the, one of the other biggest shows on TV for cartoons was Teen Titans. Yeah. And both of them actually, like, you had, like, the goofy episode and it was kid-friendly and it was, like, there was, like, you know, the jokes and everything in there and the filler. But, like within it as well were these like long extended storylines yeah that were really good that were fantastic but then again it's like you look at what's happened to Teen Titans as of late I'm not actually <laughs> oof man it's painful <laughs> it's painful Teen Titans Go is one of the biggest like and they're very self aware about it and they make jokes about it a lot and they think because they're Call, because they call it out themselves and make jokes 
to think, think it's that fine. Way, get them away with it. I have almost respect for uh, the voice actors because they're giving it the rare game still. Yeah. It's all the same voice actors from the original show. Uh, so you've still got Tara Strong as Raven. Um, you've still got Tara Strong as literally everything. <laughs> I can't remember the voice actor's names, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was... It was something special, and it just went away. Now, do I hate Teen Titans Go as a show? Not really. Okay. It's more the fact that it has replaced something that was so special. Because it's just a nothing show. Yeah. It's just comedy. but And it's not even, like, a lot of it's not very well written. Some of it's really good. Yeah. But that also comes down to the delivery of the voice actors who know the characters better than the writers do yeah. at this point. Um, there's literally an episode where they break, like, they, they break out of the reality and, like, actually go and talk to the voice actors for them. Which is kind of nuts. Um... But yeah, a lot of it is just... They just joke about it isn't it, and everything. There was an episode where they break into, like, a Young Justice, kind of. Yeah. Scene for the Young Justice League show, which was also really good at the time. Um, and they sort of take the mic there as well. Yeah. And then they, they just keep... The, the word that gets thrown around a lot whenever they go on about it, making jokes, is... They have the characters go on about, like, we used to be so edgy. <laughs> and you're like, no, you didn't. It was just a. It was just because the animation was different. In reality, you were the same characters, but you actually had plot lines, yeah. not just nothing. And I get it; it's for kids. I get it. It's the argument that I always hear when I go on about these things. It's like, oh, it's for kids, but is it really though just for kids? Because it is a DC property. I was gonna say, like, there's a difference between a kids show and a family show. Yeah, definitely. Because there is with movies as well. Yeah. Because, like, you Justice can't... Justice League is a family movie. Yeah. Things like... It's definitely not for young kids. Yeah. Or for anyone, because it's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a personal opinion. Yeah, it's one of those things that's like... You can't really say Big Hero 6 is a kids movie. No. Because that deals with heavy shit. Yeah. So does, like... Just to throw a few out that I know of top of my head recently, Coco. And not how saying that one yet. It's good. I liked it. I will say nothing of it, but I liked it. And on that note... Yeah. That's the episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Ding. <laughs> I don't know how right, bring up thingy on his Yeah. Well, we'll just keep this recorded in the interim in case you want to slide in if we say anything funny about it. Oh. <laughs> if we say anything funny. You expect too much of us. This is true. Uh... TMNT, I think it's Nickelodeon did it. Yeah. No, not TM the fuck off. No, yeah, Nickelodeon. If oh we... no, it was 3D. But Wait. like Let me have a look at the characters and I'll That be one. Sorry. That was the shit one. Was it? Yeah. Alright. It's the one after that that was good. Look up the one after that. I don't know which one's which at this point. Hang on. Just look up TMNT shows by timeline. Because that was the one, again, they tried to really, really pander to the kids. But the one after that deals with, like, heavy... It goes back to dealing with heavy storylines. Sweet, we've got fucking teeny weeny ice cream. Like, there's a fantastic uh, set of episodes in it where it's all about like Raphael dissenting because he doesn't trust Leonardo as a leader <clears throat> this was this ends at 2014 that doesn't help that was 2012 that one that one about by the way yeah so there's one after that there should be yeah unless this was unless I'm thinking of just a movie or something that was the one that I thought was really good But they're just, uh, they're about to think it again, reboot it again. Yes, what he's about to present. 
It's literally that one. Is it the same one? Yeah. Third animated series, huh? Maybe it's yeah, 2012, 2017. It's the same one. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's just like a bad first season, a good second one, I don't know. The series ran for five years with five seasons, from late September 2012 till mid November 2017. So, maybe it was a movie then that I'm thinking about. Let's see what there is in movies. Animated movies. Well, I mean, the last movie I remember was the Michael Bay shit stream. <laughs> Two wasn't the worst. Out of Shadows was actually not the worst. I kind of enjoy the second. I'm just not a Michael Bay fan. I uh, neither am I. And I'll be the first to tell you why he's killing Transformers, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. You say killing like he hasn't already done it. Mm -hmm. No, the Shadows was the last one. What movie? 2016. No, before that, though. Live action. Before that. I don't know if we were around the same time. That looks familiar. 2017 MNT. Yeah, that's the movie I was thinking of, though, when you said 3D animation. So that was even before that, actually. That's literally the live action before that. Yeah. But that's so. the movie I'm thinking of, though. Huh. So is this one good or not good? That's good, that movie. Right. Cool. It's got a really good, like, Raph versus Leonardo storyline going on for it. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna piss again.